We are at the Lichnav shipyard in Portugal. And what you can see beside me is the wind float. I think it's great. I have always liked to challenge the process and do things in new ways. And then being a part of this and see the floating foundation going offshore in a couple of weeks, that'll be great and I'm really happy to join it. With its active ballast system, the wind float will be the world's first offshore turbine facing the Atlantic. The weather restrictions is not that bad as they are offshore. We don't have the waves and the current to interfere with the vessel. So of course I think it will be a lot easier to install the turbines onshore. For a floating uh, platform such as this wind float, um, there's a well-known theoretical problem that as your wind speed increases over the maximum power, you get a negative damping effect where as the wind speed increases, the turbine, rather than rocking backwards, rocks forward. Uh, and then likewise, in the opposite extremes, as the wind speed then drops, it rocks the other way. And you get this instability in tilt, which will go on all day if the wind conditions are fairly stable. And we've been dealing with that problem. The potential is huge. If you find the right clients, the right customers, the right waters, the right uh, government to approve the wind parks, why should we go out to, to that area? So there might be a, a lot of ways to do things offshore. One of them is, uh, as we know, on fixed foundations, but now we have an alternative way of doing it, so we're not limited. To.